Ladies and gentlemen, for the final award in this group. It is with great pride I give you Kimpro Platinum Standard 2013 for business, Mr. Harsh Mariwala. Again, my pleasure. Harsh Mariwala, Chairman and Managing Director of Marico Limited, is a classic case of a statesman daring to dream. Over the past 25 years, he has metamorphosed a small family-owned business into a large, professional-driven organization. The journey has offered many lessons, disruptive lessons more than incremental. Today, the consumer products offered by Mariko are a serious threat to multinational brands, making India proud. Under Mr. Mariwala's leadership, the policies that drive decision-making at Marico are customer-centric. Quality and innovation are an integral part of his business strategy. Business decisions have a sustainability focus. We recognize these as world-class practices, but made in India. Mr. Mariwala's mantra has always been, treat your people with dignity. He believes his people are an appreciating asset, a benchmark practice. The hallmark of Mr. Mariwala is his ability to think through complex business problems in a simple way. He has a unique knack of demystifying management theories and principles to make them application friendly. He is a rare balance of left and right brain thinking. Mr. Mariwala is most passionate about social innovation. As a visionary and responsible statesman, he founded the Marico Innovation Foundation in 2003. The primary purpose of this foundation has been to fuel innovation in India. The results speak eloquently. In addition, Mr. Mariwala has established Ascent, a not-for-profit organization that seeks to identify entrepreneurs with a spark. The aim is to help these entrepreneurs accelerate their scale-up journey. He is a perfect mentor who freely cascades his knowledge and his wisdom. Let us salute Harsh Mariwala our Kimpro Platinum Standard 2013 for business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's applaud Harsh and welcome him on stage. May I request Mr. O.P. Bhatt, our Kimpro Platinum Standard 2010, and Mr. Kuldeep Kora to present the award to Mr. Mariwala. Thank you very much for honoring me with this award. I think my initiation into the quality journey began almost 25 years when I met Suresh. At that time, we had started Pimpro. And I, I must say he's a pioneer in, uh, in the quality journey in India because he was one of the first ones to start an organization to help others in the quality movement. And congratulations, Suresh, you've done a wonderful job. I want to talk today about uh, what is the purpose of an organization and what is the purpose of the individual. Because I think uh, in today's world, I find that there are many organizations which are only catering to a certain section of the stakeholders, and most likely it is shareholders. And that's very flawed thinking because ultimately organizations and businesses exist in the society and it is for the good of the society. So 
when I look at all the stakeholders in a business, it means the customers, employees, society, associates with which it deals, other partners, outside partners, and of course shareholders. But when an organization takes a skewed view of this and only looks at either shareholders or certain senior managers in terms of the soft scheme, we've seen scams coming out. So what my play to business is that actually each business should look at all the stakeholders because each stakeholder is interlinked to the success of the business. If I do something good for my employees, they'll be motivated. They will deliver better results, which will result in better performance. It'll improve shareholders' wealth. If the shareholder wealth improves, stock market prices go up, I can make more acquisitions. The associates also get more work. So all of these stakeholders are very closely interlinked. I think the businesses have realized that there is a very close interlinkages between all the stakeholders. And only when the businesses realize like this, you will have businesses contributing much more to the national level. <coughs> the second topic I want to talk about is the purpose of individual. I read somewhere that what are the two most important days in a person's life? The first is, of course, when a person is born. But which is the second most important day? Is it the day he graduates? Is it the day he gets married? Is it the day he becomes a father? Yes, these are very important days. I think there is more, one more day which is more important than all these. And that is the day when you realize why you were born. So what is the purpose of an individual? And when you realize that my purpose in life is to do this or whatever else, that purpose, if you internalize it well and live the life and actually fulfilling that purpose, it will be far more rewarding then getting more wealth, recognition. I know these kind of awards are important, but that purpose actually drives the journey and overcomes all the other hurdles in life and gives the satisfaction which is much, much beyond creating a business or creating wealth. So I think these are the kind of things I want to talk about. Let me end by saying that the purpose of life is life of purpose. Thank you. Thank you, sir.